Gotta love being in a hammock. Hey everybody and welcome back to Cats and Pats. Today we're gonna build ourselves a nice cat hammock. You know, it's like a, a hammock for cats. And there's actually a lot of designs out there on the internet, but I kind of brainstormed to talk to a couple people and try to figure out what was the simplest one I could make that like wouldn't involve sewing. Cause I'm not good at sewing and I don't have a sewing machine on me. So a solid idea to make a nice cat hammock with no sewing and actually just a couple pieces and it should be pretty cheap. And I'm hoping it turns out awesome. I haven't actually made it before. All right, so what do we need? Well, first I have cats playing with cat toys over here. So if you hear lots of things running around, that's not me. So we're gonna need the frame for our hammock. So what I got is actually two half inch bars of PVC pipe like a half inch diameter here. And these bars are like five feet and cost about three dollars. And I'm not sure if I want to need the full 10 feet that I have, but I figured better safe than sorry. And when I run over the full design in a minute, you'll kind of get an idea of how much you actually need. Trust me, it's simple math. You're good to go. Also, I think half inch should be more than strong enough. There should be no piece longer than 20 or 30 inches. And this should be strong enough for that. This should be strong enough for that. But if you have a particularly large, large, heavy cat, or maybe like a baby puma or something, you can get like three quarter inch or inch thick stuff if you really want to. But you probably don't need it. All right, and coffee, coffee's always good. So we got our big pieces, and we also need our connectors. So we're gonna need four of these. And actually, let me show you a sketch really quick so you have an idea of what I'm trying to do here. Art is not my forte, by the way. Basically, we're just trying to make a table. So what we're gonna need here is pieces to connect the legs to like the square frame part. And also on the top of the legs, you actually want something that sticks up a little bit. That way you can actually hold the material in place. So my idea here is, this will be like the corner of your table. And so you're gonna have a leg here, and part of the tabletop going this way. And then you have another piece connecting it here and this will form the other piece of the table. Ideally, if you could buy a piece where this is combined, so say you have something like this, but it has another hole right here, that would be ideal. But I couldn't find that at my hardware store, but if you find one, good luck to you. So you'll need four of these 90 degree elbows and these are like 75 cents each. And you'll need like four of these tees, which are also like 75 cents each. Make sure these pieces fit this piece. So it should just be able to slide right on, but still be kind of tight. And you're also gonna need a saw. I said no sew, but I didn't say no saw. So something like this that has like little fine teeth will work well, and it's probably a worthy investment if you don't have it. But also, power tools are where it's at. According to my dad, he says you want to use really fine teeth, and so he lent me this fine tooth blade. So preferably, I'm gonna do all my cutting with this. Now, depending on who you are, you may have PVC scraps just like lying around in your house. Maybe that sort of person. If not, all the pipe and stuff that I bought totaled nine dollars and seven cents, which isn't too bad. The saws are obviously more expensive, but you don't actually have to own those if you can borrow them. Although I think a good saw is always good to have. Actually, if you know your dimensions ahead of time, lots of times stores like Home Depot and stuff will actually cut it for you for free. That is if you're a nice customer and not like a total jerk who's like, where is this stuff? So yeah, be friendly. I mean, always be friendly. Don't just be friendly for your own means. You know, you know what I'm saying. All right, so last thing we're gonna need is our material that'll actually be the hammock itself. So my idea for this, old pillowcase. So we're essentially gonna make what my arms are right now out of PVC pipe only with some legs. And your kitty cat should sleep here right in the middle. And the size of your pillowcase no matter how much pipe you actually need. So this is a queen size one. I think my dimensions are like 20 by 30. So you might have a slightly smaller pillowcase and so you'll make a slightly smaller frame. But remember, you can always cut stuff shorter if you need to. Look at this. This is actually going to be part of a Halloween costume where I was a bank robber or something. So it's like a bag of cash or whatever, not important. Finally, you're going to need a pair of scissors to do your cutting on your pillowcase or just anything sharp that you can cut a straight line with. So yeah, I guess scissors. All right, let's do this. All right, so first thing, Luna, I need this. I'm just gonna pull this. Thanks, honey. All right, first thing I'm gonna do is actually build my frame for my pillowcase. Can you see here? Yes. This is this is the help I got. Honey. Don't mind her. So I essentially want to build a rectangle that will perfectly fit this pillowcase. So I'm just gonna toss one of these elbows on here, and I'm gonna to want to cut this so I have just enough room to put another elbow inside of this pillowcase. So you can just try to line it up and eyeball it, or if you want to use a measuring tape, you can do that as well. Luna, you are not helping, honey. You are not helping one bit. All right, right about there. All right, so this is gonna be a little more complicated with her helping. So I made a little mark with a Sharpie, but you want this thing to be as wide as possible so you have a nice tight fit for your hammock. Because if it's too small, then your hammock's just gonna droop down to the floor and it's kind of like you're lying on the floor. And that's not a fun cat hammock. Right, let's get this blade in here. Good to go. Quick and easy. You might have a little bit of mess from the PVC, so just keep that in mind. All right guys, let's not play in this. Keep in mind that your cats might want to try to play in it, so maybe a broom nearby would be good. 
Alright, I'm gonna stick this other elbow on and see how it fits in the pillowcase. So, okay. Alright, so I tried to eyeball this. Clearly I was off by half an inch or so. So I'm just gonna saw off a little bit more and make sure it fits in there, but it's also nice and tight. Ideally, if you have a 20 inch wide pillow, end to end this should be 20 inches. Plus or minus a little bit for like the stretching out of the fabric and the curving and stuff. So I'm not gonna give you the exact number because this will probably matter on a case by case basis. But pretty close to 20 inches. After you get your first one, it'll be a lot easier for the second one. All right, so this is just what I want. I have one end in, and the other end kind of barely slides in there, and it's pretty taut. So that's really what I want, is that barely fit. So now I'm gonna build the corresponding piece for the bottom here, and then I'll worry about the sides. So if you got one you like, take the elbows off, and then line them up with your other big scrap piece and use them as a guide. Nice thing about PVC is it's pretty flexible and forgiving. All right, you can go ahead and stick your elbows on if you want to. Gonna make sure they line up nice with each other. By which I mean these two holes are fitting approximately the same way. All right, so next step is to build the outer frame for the long edge. Once again, this is gonna matter the size of your pillow. And actually right now, I'm gonna get my scissors and trim off this edge of the pillowcase, like the solid edge. Because in the end, I'm actually gonna want this pillowcase to be able to slide onto the frame and it can serve as a nice hammock. But then I can also slide it off and throw it in the washing machine if I want to. So if you have a really long pillowcase and you want a smaller cat hammock, you can actually shave down several inches. But I think I'm gonna try to make a long hammock, so we'll see how that goes. That was a little bit harder to cut than I thought. All right, so for your far edge, you're gonna have to switch to your other five foot piece. Because chances are, it's gonna take the majority of that one piece just for these two long legs. So I'm actually gonna throw one of these T's on here, hold my pillowcase right at the end of the T, stretch all the way over, and then mark right about here is where I need to cut. All right, so if I give one my other T's, Stick it right about on here. The frame's starting to come out. So that's gonna be lengthwise, and these are gonna be two edge pieces, and we'll have another frame that'll go over here. Once again, I'm gonna use one leg as a guide for cutting the other piece. Line up the edges and mark it. The easiest way is probably just to set it on the ground and mark it across. All right, so I got the four edges for my frame, and this next part is just a little bonus work. If you manage to find a piece that kind of combines these two, so it's kind of like a four hole piece, you don't have to do this. For those of you working with the elbow and the three T piece, you're gonna have to do this. So I have my length frame and my width frame. So I need to connect these two together. So what that means is I need four short PVC pieces, about one and a half to two inches. That way I can slide them in here, slide them in here, and connect them. If a power tool is not a problem, if you're doing stuff by hand, I'm sorry for the extra four cuts. Just be careful not to cut the whole hand off. Yeah, there you go. Four guys, roughly an inch and a half, maybe a little bit less, inch and a quarter long. Just so both sides have a good thing to grab onto. All right, so cutting those four pieces. And I have PVC dust everywhere. Luckily, my wife's not working right now. You know what they say, cats away and mice play, right kitties? Huh? Huh? So I'm just gonna use this other piece and mark me. There, there, about there. Once again, watch your fingers. All right, let's put this frame together. Oh, I lost an elbow. Okay, these other go. So let's get our four elbows on. And we're gonna try to use the floor to make sure they're kind of level. And then we're gonna get our, I need to sweep this place. All right, got all my T's on, got all my elbows on. Now I just wanna put all these together. Boom, there's our frame. And I think one piece might be a little bit longer than the other. Ultimately, that doesn't matter too, too much. And you can flex it a little bit to try to line things up. But if you want to, just, you know, do a quick little saw off, shrink it up. Actually, you know what, I think it's pretty close. All right, so original idea here, it still kind of works, but maybe it's just a little bit more effort than you actually need to do, is that your pillowcase will actually slide over the feet and come across. But if you want to make it even easier getting it on, just pop these guys off. And then your feet kind of come together, and you got your pillowcase, and you're gonna slide them right on. And then after you get the pillowcase on there, stick your other cross piece back. Okay, Lynn, it's not ready yet, honey. So you get the idea. We have a frame, pillowcase stretched hot, and so it's nice and hammocky. Only thing is, we don't have any legs. But all you need to do for that, cut four legs out of this last piece, stick them on the corners, and you got yourself a hammock. And you can really make your legs as big as you want it to be. I was just thinking a couple inches off the ground. But in all honesty, you could have it really tall, or even like double or triple stack them. So I've got about 21 inches left in my pipe. So I'm gonna try to do four five inch legs, and then like throw the other inch away. And the legs are the thing you're gonna to wanna to make sure you try to get as flat as possible, cause you don't want all wobbly of a hammock. 
Two of these guys are looking golden. These guys have a little bit of an angle on them I don't want. So you might be able to either hand saw that really fine, or maybe use some sandpaper, I think. I haven't actually had to grind down PVC before. Maybe a rasp. Although if it's small enough, your cat might really not notice a difference. So I'm gonna try that now. Five inches seem like a pretty solid height. They may need taller depending on how much your pillowcase stretches out. Or if your frame is slightly tighter than mine, your pillowcase might not stretch as much. Feeling pretty pleased with this. PVC is usually made for gluing, so if you want to, you can actually glue your connectors. But if you don't want to keep this forever, you may not want to. On the one upside, if you glue these top elbows here, so like here and down here, you can actually pick this whole thing up and like carry your cat around on it. If you have to do that for some reason. Right now, if a cat is on here and I picked it up though, just pop right out. In an ideal world, if this is actually loose enough, you can take your pillowcase, slide it up and over, and just slide the whole thing off the top and slide it back on as you need. Mine might be loose enough to do that if I stretch it a little bit, but I don't want to rip my pillowcase mid-video, so I'll probably try that later. Also, I don't plan on gluing mine because I don't plan on like picking up my cat in it. So the easiest thing is just to pop it open and slide the pillowcase off. Alright, kids, you've been here the whole time. Need somebody to try this thing out. Seriously, they've been here the past hour and now they're gone. I'm gonna find somebody. Hey, honey, what you think? Let's see what you think. <laughs> Some kind of nice? Okay. Also, I kept this one kind of devil wide. I thought maybe two cats could get in here. And they'll definitely fit. I'm just worried that the pillowcase might sag a little bit and they'll be hitting the ground. Who knows? They might still find it comfy. I could always try to find an older, smaller pillowcase. Or if you have extra PVC pipe, all you really have to do is make these slightly longer. What do you think? Like it? One more thing. If I were to do this again, I might try to figure out how to put a cross piece in here. Or maybe even another bar down the middle. Although that would kind of segment it in half. But that wouldn't be bad for a two cat hammock. The reason I want a cross piece is kind of like in scaffolding. I don't want this to happen. Which the cat's not going to get injured or anything. But these cats are kind of crazy and they run and jump on these things and slide around. And so eventually it might just kind of collapse to the side and won't be usable until I come by to fix it again. But I'd rather not have that happen. So who knows, maybe that'll be revision to a cat hammock. Also, you can decorate this thing and fancy it up however you want. I just happen to have this old, kind of dirty old pillowcase. But if you want to, you could make this some sort of crazy leopard print thing. Or just whatever design you happen to like. And the PVC itself, I think, could be painted. Although if you do something like that, make sure you have like non-toxic animal paint or something. I really don't know anything about that. So make sure you do your own research before like coloring this thing. But yeah, you can pretty fire it up. Also, if you don't glue it, it's really compact. You can break it down and put it in a box about this big and throw it in the corner of the room. And one more thing, I keep on remembering things I want to say. This whole project took me like an hour. And that includes the whole filming time thing. So lots of times I'll mess up when I'm saying something or start doing something and move forward so you can see it in the camera. And that also includes heating up my coffee again. So it's a really quick project. Obviously, power tools made it a lot faster. But even so, there's only 10-ish cuts. And you can go through that plastic pretty fast. So it's kind of a quick, fun project. Just for reference, I thought I'd show how long it takes with a handsaw and the PVC. So it didn't take that long, but it did take a little bit of time and a little bit of effort. Although I will say the hardest part was actually just getting started. So your saw is actually going in one spot. So easily doable, just a little bit longer. And one more quick note, I'm actually editing this video right now. But something my dad brought up, you can actually buy little rubber feet that'll fit on the bottom of PVC. And this foot can actually fit snug on this pipe. I just happen to have too big of one. But you can have four rubber feet that'll actually hold your hammock more in place. And it'll make that one sharp edge that you actually have left nice and smooth. All right, back to this video and back to Moo. So there you go, that's my DIY cat hammock. And if you have any other ideas about how to make a simpler hammock that your cats will like, leave them down in the comments below. And if you're new here and you like DIYs and just random cat videos, make sure you subscribe. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.